to our um, copy and remove logic, there's a little one here, which means that the paths are of uh, length one. Okay. So the remove operator can work on paths of any length, but in fact, to represent action, action models, we only need paths of length one. So we have a first translation from AML to uh, copy and remove. And there's another translation possible from copy and remove to AML, but with post conditions. I mean, that's, it modifies the valuation of the, of the model. And when you combine both, what do you get? You get a, a nice um, normal form for, for action models. So you take an action model, you translate it forth, you translate it, translate it back, and you get another action model, which is only built from three uh, different shapes. One shape for the copy operation, and two for the two possible remove operations. So, I mean, and this is something we did not, we did not expect when uh, we, we did this. So it's nice to have a normal form for autom automatization and to, um, to know more about the, about the logic. And also some complexity results uh, that are, are still, uh, still in improvement and we are working on it. So we don't know yet the status of copy and remove with uh, remove I mean, on any path length. Okay, so this is a work in progress. Okay. So if you want to know more, um, I have a recommended, recommended um, reading for you, which is a course gave by uh, Carlos Aleses, Patrick Blackburn, and Raul Felvari a few weeks ago uh, at the ESLI of Barcelona. The slides are available uh, online. You can search them. And so you, you will have a, a larger, a longer introduction uh, than this talk to these logics. And uh, it's nice to have them uh, on the plane when you come back home uh, to read. And, um, well, okay, thank you for your attention. I have two questions, one quick and, uh, and another a little bit uh, more long. So I start with a quick one, actually. Mm -hmm. um, um, so do you have concrete situations? I mean, can you, um, can you tell us some concrete situations in which, uh, uh, let's say, these logics can be used to, to model some kind of... Uh, of Let's say concrete scenario, like for each of these. Um, Since we started, we, we are looking for some concrete direct application of, say, swap or sabotage. I mean, the direct application, no. The most direct one is this remove operation inspired by sabotage. But we. Like that. I mean, for the sabotage, I, 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 would, um, I would think of a, of, a, of a kind of game theoretic situation in which you have, let's say, players playing on, on uh, uh, let's say, a, a quick keyframe, and then one moves, and, uh, and, and they have goals or things like that, well, right? I mean, like, but the other ones, I mean, like, for instance, the swap seat, I, I, I have difficulties in uh, figuring out, so I was, uh, I was curious whether you had something, I mean, some motivating example. Yeah, well, for swap, we had like an example of uh, some, someone passing, like say, passing a ball to someone else. So and when you do this and you change, the, you change the, the arrow, and it means that the one that has the, the ball can pass it back to the other okay, person. Okay, so for instance, like I this. mean, something like this could, uh, could, uh, could happen in fact in dialogues, right? I mean, like in natural language, there's a, uh, uh, there's a lot of investigation, uh, like, st I mean, um, studying dialogues as a kind of, uh, of games with, uh, with rules in which okay. it's polite, for instance, to, uh, to give signals to the other one, uh -huh. you know, like, and so, I mean, this kind of operations then could be a natural representation of that. Okay, okay that's, uh, uh, that's a very nice point. Uh, thanks. 
Um, okay, the second question I have, if, okay. Um, so I, I, I mean, it's, uh, it's just, uh, I wanted to point out, I mean, in, in fact, it's not, it's not exactly, uh, I mean, a question, it's just an invitation to, that maybe we can, we can discuss this more uh, deeply offline, but I just wanted to, uh, to tell you that, uh, well, I mean, for instance, Umberto here uh, later on um, will uh, will talk about, uh, uh, let's say, the outcomes of a, of a piece of a, of research which is uh, inspired by duality theory and, and algebraic approach to dynamic epistemic logic, in which uh, we do precisely uh, this, namely, we take the update uh, operation. And in fact, we split it into, into two. And what you call copy, we call uh, coproduct. Uh, and what you, uh, what you call delete, uh, we call subproduct. Uh, well, uh, subobjects, in okay. fact. And so, I mean, essentially, the, the thing was there that we, we wanted essentially to apply uh, stone duality to, to the mechanism of, uh, of, uh, of the update. And we found um, it pretty natural to, uh, to let's say, divide the, the, the mechanism in, uh, in, uh, in two steps, which can be dualized uh, separately. And then the account is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is pretty nice. Now, uh, I mean, okay. an open question um, about this is that uh, every time you do some kind of categorical construction, like products or subobjects, you have uh, natural maps, like for instance the embedding of a, of a, of a sub-model into the, the, the bigger model, right? Or let's say in the case of products you want to have projections and so on and so forth. So uh, I mean the, 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 situ uh, the situation there is that uh, uh, I mean these maps are not p-morphisms and I mean like you know I mean that cannot be of course because you are really warping the structure of, uh, of, uh, of the model. So this is, uh, this is precisely the natural thing that you, that you would expect. However, uh, there are, let's say, laxer, um, uh, let's say, properties. So, I mean, something which are not p-morphisms, but they are, let's say, good enough so that you can, let's say, build good enough <coughs> categories and, and look at the category theoretic approach. And so, I mean, I, wonder, uh, I, I, I was wondering whether, let's say, you had these kind of considerations or let's say you have investigated, for instance, uh, uh, morphisms, I mean, of, uh, of, uh, of these structures, uh, which is, uh, I suppose, you have, given that you have a general notion of bi-simulations. Uh, no. no. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. okay. But then, and yeah, I mean, like, this could be something that, uh, I mean, could be uh, uh, looked up. Or yeah. We, we, we have more a priority of, um, like, staying close to the um, model theoretical uh, um, Yeah. No, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's also nice to, to see that, uh, I mean, coming from different directions yeah, yeah. Uh, at the end, uh, we come up with uh, mm -hmm. very similar ideas. Okay. Yeah, 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 it's nice. Thank yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Okay, we have to move on to the session, so let's thank the speaker again. <laughs> we have these four parallel sessions now. The one that continues here is uh, the get one. Okay, the others are going to get forward. Just a short announcement. As you know, there, there are two. Uh, there's one tutorial going on now. The other one was cancelled. But there's one which is some pragmatic reason. It's supposed to start in two minutes in 3H3. And there are the two workshops uh, going on. Get fun of this room, Philomena on the other room. You're welcome to stay or 